Hello guys! I'm Adina and in today's video we are going to do some statue hunting. Actually, you know, we have the regular statues around Hungary like about politicians and kings on horses, but there are a few of them which are much more interesting and they have very good stories, so I think you're going to enjoy this. Let's go! As you can see, two majestic lions are saving the chain bridge from both sides and here is a story behind. Actually, the creator wanted to make something really perfect but it's remained during the years and when the bridge was open, the family was walking by and the kid was putting out that the lion has no tongue. And actually, this hurt it so much the creator that it was jumping down from the bridge and died. Luckily, this is only a fairy tale because actually this story became popular uh, during the time when the creator was still alive and actually he also made so many jokes about it and was always telling that no no the lion has a tongue but please how does it look like if I could create it like that? Pretty bad, right? Okay, so what's the reason why we have a statue about the fat policeman? Actually, he was living here in the area and one day the kids was playing outside in the street and one of them was running out to the road after a ball and the horse carriage was coming and the policeman was jumping in front of the carriage and saving the kid. Actually, he had some injuries, broke some ribs and yeah, it was <laughs> some other effects. But actually, he was saving the kid and that's the reason why he's in here right now. You can see that there is a shiny spot on the belly of this policeman. Actually, all of the tourists who are coming to here, I'm always touching it. Actually, I don't know why, because there is no story behind. Maybe someone is just waiting for the baby to kick. I don't know. But yeah, so this is the reason why is it so nice. Unfortunately, the story of these shoes is not that happy because actually this is a memorial for those Jews who were shooted into the river during the Second World War. So this is actually a Holocaust memorial. A few years ago this was nominated as the second best public statue in the world. So here is the question, why do we have a Colombo statue in the middle of the city? So, as you know, Peter Falk was the actor who was playing Colombo. And the name of the street where the statue is located is called Falk Miksha. 
This must be a clue. Falk Miksha was a Hungarian writer and politician and actually he was the grand-grandfather of Peter Falk and this is the reason why we have this statue in here. So that's all folks. You got it right. <laughs> Might as well. behind me is Puskás Ferenc and actually in the 1950s and 60s I think everyone knows his word in the entire world as he was one of the best football player ever. He was also playing in Spain so you can also know him as Pancho. Probably many of you know the Ruby Cube, which is actually a Hungarian invention, and we have a small statue about it. The creator of the statue is Mihai Kolotko, who actually has 20 small sculptures around the city, and all of them are super good. And the next three is going to be his job. This tiny worm is a character from a famous Hungarian cartoon. You really have to open your eyes to find this one. Look at this tiny balloon dog with its spoon. I think it's just super sweet. I really, really love it. And it's tiny, so you really have to focus in when you are walking around in here to find it. Ubisoft is a Hungarian company and actually Steve Jobs was helping really a lot for them and they were really thankful this is the reason why they made this statue for him after he died and actually this is right now the first and only Steve Jobs statue on the earth you cannot even find another one in Cupertino Hey Steve I see you have a phone can you please subscribe to my channel Adina Explores Thank you not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I want to take a trip to Mars. And actually
actually just few steps from Steve you can find the local Microsoft headquarters. Oh. For the next statue we have to climb a few stairs. If you saw the Now You See Me movies, you will know that Woody Harrelson was one of the magicians in the movie and right now when you will see this statue you will ask him from yourself, is he really a time traveler? We finished with the best statues for today. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe. And we are going to explore new places next week in the next video. See you guys.